Hello, Mickey. Hero. Hello, Hero. <laughs> Welcome to your session. Thank you very much. It's good to have you on my my couch. How do Probably you feel? Now. It's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? It was good, really good. I think you people were probably the most, you and your duo, yeah. Femi, you guys were probably the most happiest evictees I've ever seen in the history of Big Brother. The energy you came out on stage <laughs> with, like, Kilo It's because of the name now. Radical. The radicality. Mm. Maybe today it starts now. Mm. We don't think. So was it that you didn't have so much of an expectation getting into the, into the house that you yeah, feel fulfilled? The thing is, okay, first of all, this is my first time like auditioning for Big Brother. Mm. But at the same time, I took it very seriously. But I didn't go there. Me and my duo didn't go there with a strategy. We just like went there to showcase our talent, the lifestyle, our fitness lifestyle. If you notice, I'm always taking on my shirt. Nobody say at the show of shower. <laughs> nah, hard work where the show now. Yeah. Then how to take your lifestyle seriously. People say I eat a lot in the house. But trust me, if they take if they settle down to look at um the way I eat, it's called um it's the way bodybuilders arrange their diets. I don't just eat sloppy foods anyhow. Like um I don't have breakfast, do you understand? I don't have breakfast based on um, intermittent fasting. fasting. So I only eat like one heavy food in a day. Yeah. Mm. So basically, just went there to showcase the lifestyle. And um, of course, you guys saw the energy now. From the <laughs> wager down to the Saturday night bed. If they showed, if they actually like showed everything, they can see that I was also an hype man there. Like, Every Saturday night, but do you, including them um, Thursday pool parties, yeah. So that's what I want to showcase there. Nobody like say I did go for the win win, but assuming the win come now plus mm. now plus, yeah. So you feel like with the time you spent in the house, yes, you no. had more than enough time to showcase what you wanted to showcase. In fact, one week was enough for me. <laughs> one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. That was really like huge for me in the house mm. to showcase for us to showcase our lifestyle yeah i've also noticed that a lot of people would if you don't tell people your age they wouldn't know yeah you know people would think that you're way older you know so yeah. it was even a shock to me to know that you were 24 you know <laughs> how is it a shock <laughs> even me sometimes i question myself if i'm actually 24 because i know past myself mm. i swear yeah <laughs> i just feel like i'm maybe reincarnated or something yeah because yeah. if you talk about old school life you even talk about old Current affairs, I know very much. If you talk about old music, yeah, I know much. Like, oh, so even that, me at the surprise, I go ask my parents one day. That that so be like. That's what makes me very curious to know, like your family background. Is it that you have very older parents? You know, some people actually have parents that give birth to. Them yeah, yeah, well no, not really. My, not really, not really. Okay, not really. tell me about your family dynamics. Okay, like, what do you want to know about my family? Where are you people from? How many are you in your family? You oh, know, okay, what's, okay. What's the relationship between you and your siblings and your parents? Yeah, you know? so um, I'm from Edo State. Mm. My mom from Kogi State. My dad from Edo State, mm. Akoko Edo. I have um, five siblings and we are all boys. Oh. The last set are twins. That's why I really, like, took twins seriously in the house. If you notice, I was close to um, the Imbadwe twins as well. So, um, like I said, we are all boys. I'm the second. Mm. Yeah. So, about my family, we are not, my dad is not really enough to be a grandfather yet, sure. Mm. But if he be your last, last, but at least checking the age, you know how grandfather age used to be now, maybe he said with something. Uh -huh. In a reach like that, it's nasty, young, strong man. Mm. Okay, so yeah. yeah, that's dope. That's dope. So where would you say you got your maturity from? Let me just say it's it's natural. Like mm. the whole composure, the whole maintenance stage is natural. Yeah, mm. yeah. I don't look like my age now. If people say <laughs> I look uh, twenty, I don't say I want person for inside the house. Say I be this age actually, but trust me. Maybe it's because of the whole setting in the house, you understand? Yeah. Yeah. So my maturity just is just natural. Mm. It's just natural. What would you now say is uh, the lowest point of your life? 
generally or in the generally, house? Generally, not just in the house. Lowest point is when my friend, my closest friend, died of car accident. Yeah, that was, that was like a few days before auditioning for Big Brother. So you know how hard I could not even like drive my car. See, now I see the fear to go staring based on the trauma and everything. Like, I saw this guy today and the next day, somebody sent me a photo of his car smashed. I was like, ah, and I lie, and I lie, Omo. When I tried calling this guy several times, he did not pick up. And before, you know, I saw his um, obituary poster that the guy is, and he's 23. So, they go, that was really like my lowest. Then another part is when um, I was fat. Yeah, like, I was not confident. You know, having my stove mark to cover my boxer's label, eating shawarma, eating a lot of sloppy foods really made me sad. You know, I can't even, if, I was, if, if it was like three years ago, I can't even stay here because there's no much um, air, air ventilation. Yeah, so those are like two major parts of me being... Was like, that what now. inspired your fitness? Yes, yes, actually, because I was really tired of the lifestyle, like sweating... I know sweating is like natural, but you know the f the sweat that comes with fat is different. Like you can't even like from here to here you're already tired. From here to here you're already tired. You know feed do the do. No, <laughs> you don't gas out. Mm. Uh, that's who. So I just no. It's not like I or no anybody motivated me. No. In fact, since I started working out, I never had a trainer. I did okay. everything myself. Though. I learned it the hard way because it led me to Osa, you know, not eating well, always staying hungry, just drinking water. But it's not good. You have to eat, you have to mix the whole um, six uh, classes of food together. Not like, okay, you skip this one, skip this one. Trust me, it's not going to be good for your health. Mm -hmm. it, that's why we, yeah, we involve um, this um, portion control. Yeah, if you, have, if you have a portion control, trust me, your diet is in, intact, yeah. Mm, so basically, you eat in smaller portions. Yeah, and that was then. Sure. That was then. Mm. Okay. When I was trying to like um, lose weight, but one time of my life, I, I decided to go into bodybuilding. So I said like, it's bulk up, yeah. bulk up, yeah. And trust me, I I definitely knew what I was doing. Even inside the house, I knew the whole stress would make me like slim down. But to God be the glory, <laughs> egg saved my life. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know if you saw that Biggie told Ben to go and. Yes, ah, Omo used to say Nami. <laughs> ah, Omo. It was really like, I wish that task was for me, honestly, I will not lie. Mm -hmm. I wish that task because See. the way I take like egg, I go, I don't even need to, to go to the open door, I go down the person. <laughs> I go on the perceive myself, I go on the sniffer, I go on the way the egg did. Mm. I, I really why, like why, why, are they, why are the housemates hiding eggs in their lockers? Ah, hey, when I was full inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more, don't worry. There's a, people like, see, that's why I said the view inside there is different from the outside. Like, if it's thief egg, you know, go send him the whole world, they watch you. Mm. Because you would have forgotten about the whole camera stuff. Yeah, so. The hiding of egg is to hide it from other housemates. It's not like um, we are hiding it, no. Because if you keep it in the kitchen, it's where the um, the public, like everybody, comes to. So somebody can just like pick up stuff. In fact, you can't even just cover food and your mind will be at rest in the kitchen. <laughs> you know, if it's early morning or midnight, if you don't wake up, go go check your food. Mm. Yeah, because there are a lot of rebels in that place. What yeah. are what are the other things happening in that house that a lot of us don't get to see? Because you know the channel also has to be regulated based exactly on, based on NBC standards. You see, yeah, you see this screen time of of, of a thing is really important mm. because okay, like me now, they, they video me pass when I the vex. They no video me when I the catch crews when I the hype. In fact, I checked the internet. Uh, I did not see where I was hyping, but trust me, I was the hype man. Ask every every housemate that comes here next and ask who is the hype man in the house. Mm. Like always calling everybody's name. So I was really pained. Mm. That almost the most important part when I know show up, when I show when I the vex with so, Victoria, all these small, small things. So let me explain how this thing works. Yeah. That's, there are more than how many people? Yeah, I understand. 20, I'll be 30 something people. They can't focus on only you alone. But, I mean, <laughs> but no. everybody but has no, to. If you know, they focused more on when I was obsessed. Why? Why they no skip that part too? 
they are just, one it's just now. I know you understand, it's just controversy or content that they are looking for, I beg. Because mm-hmm. even there's a lot of misconceptions, like, almost, how do I need to clear the air when there's no evidence? So what misconceptions? This like, is where you're um, clearing Like it. one statement that's the, that something, uh, women are useless stuff. I can't even remember what I said. But trust me, it was not, that's not how I meant it. Because I cannot settle down. Because my mom is, is a woman too. Like, okay, babes, they where they talk to her. I, I, I really love women. Um, I they admire women based on what they don't face. In fact, sometimes I say, okay, what women they face, they pass men on based on um, the pregnancy level, the period level. So I really like salute women out there, honestly. Because I don't see how we be, and I don't, and and I think there's this um, machine that tends to like, if they put it in a guy to know how period pain looks like, that guys can't even stay up to like five minutes to feel the pain. So imagine going four days or even one week to feel that kind of pain. So honestly, respect to women out there. So basically, you just want to clear it. Yes, that's why I say that there's a lot of misconceptions. So yes, and even um, the whole me going to the ship, me getting upset over the twins, is a lot of misconception, like misunderstanding. Side, t- side talks cost a lot in that house. Like imagine hearing from different people that this person said this thing to you. Of course, now you get upset, especially in an enclosed place where there's no space. Like the person where they vex yourself, you go see and they walk out every day. And if, if there is a meeting in the, in the main lounge, you go still come sit down there, what can you do? Nothing. Rather than to rant in the Big Brother's um, diary section and um, just come out. Yeah. That's all. And again, I gave myself like high level of tolerance by not like getting upset or because I know how I can be sometimes if I'm upset. So I just, I was just happy that I did not take a lot of things too seriously in the house rather than just like rant in um, the diary section, which is normal. Like, in an enclosed place with adults with different personalities, it's not easy to hold yourself up because mm. there are so many um, events right that made me upset. But I was just calm, and they all thanks to my guy, to that that okay, he made me calm. You understand? So if you had gone in alone, who do you think you would have fought with? Ah, <laughs> a lot of people. No, because, just one person that's okay, always felt, on your nerves. Ah, um, that was always on my nerves. Nobody was really. Always on my nerves. Let's say is I think it's just normal to it's a game now and there's no how that you will not step on anybody's toe and people step on your toes. Like yeah. when Ben took my food, I saw it, but I, I I was like, I'll just stay calm, you know, just pour the anger on the gym, the irons there. That's but basically I was not like ah, who would I have faced? I would have faced a lot of people because it's normal. It's normal to like yeah. step on each other's toes and yeah. yeah. What's your relationship with Ozzy? With Ozzy, uh, um, my love for twins is really, mm. really high. Like, imagine my brothers are twins. Like, then I have twins in my family, like eight set of twins. So, mm. the and I even want to like I want to give birth to twins. So, mm. the love for twins was much. Even when TJ, TJ's wife gave birth, I was really the happiest every time. Baba Ibeji, call him Baba Ibeji. Yeah. So, mm. yeah. So even when he had an altercation with your partner. Yeah, when he had an altercation with my partner, I knew the kind of person Ozzy is because he's somebody that takes stuff the wrong way. And me, I didn't want Femi to like fall in that same trouser with him again. That was why I said um, he should go upstairs and calm down. But mm. I think at that point where Femi was angry, he thought I was being rude to him by telling him to go upstairs, which I understand. But trust me, I did not judge Femi because I even told him, don't apologize to this guy. You understand? But Ozzy, they are still my guys, last, last. Um, he's not personal. Yeah. He's the heat of the moment. And the fact that he settled with Ozzy was okay. Make I just continue to talk to them now. They go. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I was even happy that he settled with them because that's how it's supposed to be. Mm. Not you have issues with somebody, you yeah. settle it. Yeah. It's normal. It's normal like that. Yeah. Now that you're out of the house, which, which pairs do you think are the strongest now that you are from the outside? Okay, before the separation. No, I'm saying now that you're out of the house, you've yeah. had like four or five days yes, to yes, observe yes. what's going on. Yeah. Which which pairs or which duos? Do you, or in fact, individuals, because right now they're yes, so yes. Um, Who are the individuals you think are really strong outside? Um, people strong outside. You see, um, Winka, she's strong outside. Victoria, strong outside. Kelly. Kelly's really strong. I, I, I was surprised though, honestly. 
and then um ben ben to yeah the four strongest to me mm -hmm. okay yeah. okay what of wani yes yes wani and handy too yeah mm -hmm. they are strong outside too yeah interesting i like that you said that you know so if if you were to say okay who are the top three the top three yes that's i'll give it possibly to, win the top three i'll give it to kelly wani and victoria okay yeah and kelly wani and victoria yeah mm -hmm. Is there another thing you like to talk about? <laughs> like, no, you can ask me now. <laughs> because I know where you are going to, but you can ask me no, Allah. <laughs> no, is there another thing you like to talk about, really? Uh, nothing really, nothing really. Just to clear the air of some misconceptions and misunderstandings that happen in the house. Mm. See, normally, human being go vex. Like, that place, everybody is taking that place like their house. So, we, in fact, we did not know the whole world was watching us uh, because there are some things you, maybe you thought, okay, you said it and it just like went away. We don't know that everything was captured or more. So the whole thing that I said was the heat of the moment. Mm. You understand? Because I'm actually, a, I'm a soft boy, I'm a sweet person. Like all the housemen I got to meet, like we, we got to talk, you know, we are in good terms. I don't really have like, a long-term issue with anybody, mm. including the twins, the um, Wani and Handy and um, the Victoria issue. It was not really long. It was just hit of the moment, yeah. Okay, it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Um, thank you so much for coming on Heroes Therapy. I know you said I wanted to ask you who will win. I since you want to say, who do you think will win? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, my guy. Kelly, but I'm, I, I'm pretty sure Kelly might win. But I'm rooting for Ben. Okay. Yeah. That's fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Thank you so much. And uh, all the best with your future plans. Uh, what are they? Okay. Personal training, um, getting your gym. Yeah, first of all, no, I'll try to sell my market to you. Now. <laughs> See, make you go. Make I train you. So that's my. Make you get muscle. My get muscle. And now. Mm -hmm. But it still depends. If you don't want the muscle, no, Allah. If you just want to stay fit. Yeah, you look fit already, Seth. Thank you, you they shake yeah. chest. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you look fit already, yeah. So, um, then basically, I I love modeling too. So I would like love to like model for different brands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then um, movie. Uh, I really like to like. I know how to perform, like act, but I don't know how to write scripts. But trust me, just give me my my role. I'll play it well. If you watch that wager, uh, that. Wager that we played a uh, game where I was the gladiator <laughs> or something, yeah. And it just assigned my action for me, and trust me, I will, I will do more than intended, yeah. Okay, and I wish you all the best. Thank Have you very much. Cheers.